not about to pass up this opportunity to get to get cleansed. Cleanse me, Arizona. Cleanse me. Ah! Is ah! That? Okay, that's enough. I'm cleansed. Oh, yeah, just got a spot. Looks like I'm in the clouds. Oh, blinded clouds. Oh. <laughs> Yes, don't bust the crust. <laughs> Is the mappy? Yes, I am here. Whoa. It feels like I'm literally getting sucked over here. Oh, I see. Okay, it's like even in a little circle. Hey. Me and the Scully say hi. Say hi, Skulls. Yeah, they said hi. Don't even trip. got crazy out of nowhere and the, the thunder out here sounds like they got the native american drums right on my ear like, boom <laughs> like um can we calm it down a little bit please thank you so i was at this shop called the white light crystals um and i purchased a meditation cd it's a past life regression meditation and i gotta say I fell asleep and I don't even know what happened. And then I heard him kind of bringing, bringing me back. Like, all right, now you're walking down these uh, these colored steps. It's like, you're going through the green step. Now you're going through the, through the blue step. And I was like, what, what? And I went along with the last, like, let's say three or four minutes. Like, but then when I, when I look at how long the, you know, like the meditation was, it was 35 minutes. So I'd say I probably like passed out, blacked out, whatever you want to call it for 30 minutes. And I did something past life because like I, I don't know, I feel like I have a lot of energy. I feel good, but it's like, I don't know what happened at all for that whole 30 seconds. Oh, oh I mean, 30 minutes. I don't even know. Today I'm wearing red. <laughs> so you know I'll be walking out wide every day. <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that Starbucks? Mm, all those signs were, yeah, about to get that. Arizona Starbucks. Shamanic healing place on accident because I was looking for a crystal shop. But then I guess I really was looking for some shamanic help. Yeah, and then I ended up buying a ticket to a sound healing tonight. So that should be wild. So I'm just driving around. It's the early morning. And uh, just had a croissant. <laughs> and um you know it's arizona so it's a little different than other places but look at what i just see look at this. a little while ago today is day one of my all water fast <laughs> doing a seven day water fast so i'm gonna be keeping track and be journaling and also be doing this video so that y'all can keep track of what i'm doing and you know if you're ever thinking about doing a seven day fast or even a one day fast or whatever it is you know hopefully this can help you give that motivation to yourself because i i'm doing it i'm doing it it's monday July 26th, I'm a little out of breath because I just did some yoga, some working out, 
about to shower, head to the stupa, go to a vortex, channel some info. Whew, it's gonna be a day, because I literally am not gonna be eating anymore. <laughs> Here we go. Now that I'm ready and everything. So now that I'm ready, I'm about to hit up um, Grand Canyon. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so day one water fast. Oh, don't want to forget my water. <laughs> don't want to forget my water. So like I said, day one water fast. And um, yeah, about to go to the Grand Canyon. See what downloads I get from going over there. We shall see. Alrighty, the hunger is for real hitting me like a truck right now. It's just like my stomach is like, all right, time for breakfast. It's like, it's already lunchtime. It's like you got cut off by a little bit, but I get what you're saying. But yeah, I, I, uh, last time I ate, I, I had a big old pizza at a, well, it was like 4.30 or something like that, or like 5.30. So let's just say at 6 p.m. yesterday was the last time that I ate. And it's um, 11.36 a.m. right now. So we've already been past 12 hours, so that's cool. That's cool, but yeah. I mean, drinking water is not even a big deal, so you just sip it. It's like, I made sure not to uh, to drink a whole one, like a, you know, like a whole gallon or a whole whatever, <laughs> liters and stuff, you know. I just didn't want to drink a, a whole one of those so that it just like expand my stomach and then my stomach just be empty all day, like, just with the food. It's like, nah, I got you, bro. I'm gonna take it nice and slow, because we got seven days of this. Seven days. Seven days! Hey, look, the trees are changing. Hey, look, there's one right there. It's like, it's just, it's just naked. <laughs> See, look, look, look. Brown, naked. It's like, it's just like, the, the trees are just like, fuck it, I'm getting naked. <laughs> oh. I'm at the Grand Canyon. So as you can see, I have my jacket on because uh, it started raining. It doesn't look like it. Oh, it's raining. Right on me. Right on me. The canyon of green. Straight raining on Are you serious? In Egypt? <clears throat> right?
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Inside the Sphinx. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what they were. Those boxes and the, the seraphim or whatever it's called. They were granite boxes. Yeah. They so were not tombs, they were portals. Yeah, so I, <clears throat> I saw myself in Seraphim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a pharaoh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like everyone is there for me, for what I'm about mm -hmm. to do, or where I'm about to go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, People are lining the streets in the gold outfits, up and down the streets while you walk as a pharaoh or you're on one of those wheeled things. Yep, that's you. Gold and black. You are the pharaoh. Going down the parade in the middle of the town. Yeah, it's like from my perspective, I can see everything. Mm -hmm. Which is like how I <clears throat> can determine from past lives, like how like affluent somebody was. Mm -hmm. like how, how much vision do I have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
everybody. So, uh, just woke up. Oh, well, I woke up at like, it was like four, 441 specific number. You'd see that all the time in 144. But, um, yeah. I know, so I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. And I feel kind of weak, but also strong. It's not weak like, like I need to eat. It's a weak like, I don't know. <laughs> like it'll just take me a while to get up. I need to do my push-ups and such. So, get to that. Uh, whew, this is interesting. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a couple hours. Let's see what time is it. It's like 6 a.m. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> so this is day three, water fast. And um, last night I almost, almost broke, I almost cracked <laughs> and got this fire pizza. <laughs> but you know, I was like, you know what? No, let me not do that. Cause that's not even gonna like help my stomach and it's not nutritionally giving me anything. So like, let me just get full off this water and go to sleep. And then I had crazy dreams, like as in like really enlightening dreams. You know, and um, yeah, I don't know. Like my tummy kind of feels weird, but what is it? And it's 10 a.m. I already I woke up at like 4:30, so I've been up for a while. I already got past like the main like pains, where it's just like, oh, I feel weak. But then after that, I drink more of the water, and also, so I made some Aquarius Moon water uh, at the Aquarius Full Moon last week. And I just put like little like half of a capful in there because all it takes is one drop to like fully affect like the entire molecular structure of the water. So I just put a couple drops and then it's like when I drink it, it isn't like, ooh, that water is good. It's like, it's like, ooh, this, um, sorry, there's somebody behind me. I'm at the ATM. You know, it, it's more like, ooh, uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> but yeah, but with the water, it's like, you know, I, I get full, have a couple pains, get through it. And then I'm just thinking about other stuff. And like, as I distract myself with other things, like it gets easier for me to to not think about food because like i'm just like not thinking about food <laughs> it's weird because i am thinking about food but then i'm also not and it's like i'm under my body's like accepted that it's like okay that water is what fuels us so you know so then when i feel like the hunger pains it's like my water bottle shows up in my mind you know it's like oh snap what about <laughs> i really want that water <laughs> So yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. It's like, I, I'm really proud of myself for even getting this far, you know? And um, yeah, you know, proud of myself. It's like, I feel like different, you know? And also when I saw so like, I woke up, got in the car and I was driving, um, driving to, to, what is it? Uptown Sedona. And as I saw like the headlights, you know, the other cars like, you know, facing me, it's like, they looked different like bigger than normal you know it's like what the why do the lights look extra bright it's like i think that it definitely has something like i think something's detoxing out of my eyes and you know it's like my vision might even start getting better we'll see but i mean with my odin reiki i honestly have learned how to fix vision it's just that if you're going to fix vision you need to make sure that you didn't go to the eye doctor because your glasses are going to start to like your prescription is going to be changing slowly you know like slowly over time so um so yeah
Hey everybody, so today is day four and I'm like resetting the fast in a way because uh, yesterday I ended up going uh, crystal hunting on Diamond Point. I found a ton of diamonds and crystals, <laughs> pretty crazy. But, uh, but yeah, that type of, um, I guess, energy usage of me like climbing down this huge mountain, walking around in the heat, you know, sweating, looking for, looking for these diamonds and crystals, and then hiking back up the mountain to get back to the car. It completely exhausted me on a level that I didn't expect. And, uh, and yeah, I started to feel super delirious, like, and then I had to drive back an hour and a half, you know, back from the mountain. And in that time, like, I definitely had a couple emotional releases, but yeah, like, I, I felt like I was dying. Like, literally dying, not like, oh, okay, my, it's just my stomach's like, no, like, me going on that hike and that crystal hunt, like, it, it did something to me. So, I ended up having dinner, but, um, but after 8 p.m., which is when I started the fast on, um, on Monday, so today's Thursday, so Monday, one day, Tuesday, day two, and Wednesday, day three. And from that, it's like, I had the best sleep ever. It's like, I remembered a lot more of my dreams. I, um, I had a lot more time. It's like, I definitely was craving food every day all the time, but not because my stomach hurt because I was hungry. It's just, it's just like a flavor addiction thing. Like, you know, your boy loves flavor. <laughs> so, so that's what that was. But yeah, so, um, I haven't eaten anything this morning or today, like since 8 p.m. yesterday. And, um, I was considering, I almost got breakfast tacos and, uh, and chai tea. <laughs> But I decided to drink some water, and I might go get lunch at Picasso's, which is this, uh, this really healthy, gluten-free, vegan Italian place. I mean, they have regular options as well. But um, yeah, and then now I'm reading Keys of Enoch. <laughs> I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I already read a couple pages. Like this is dense, it's dense. But you know, me not having all this brain fog makes it easier for me to understand like these light code you know, concepts. And, uh, multi-universal, multi-dimensional, galactic concepts. So, so yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll keep y'all updated uh, when I make my next video. Peace. Alrighty, so just got to Bell Rock. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look at that. Look. At, wait, is that it? Look at that thing. Dang! Look at that thing. Just got my parking pass. There was a spot. Uh, it's uh, 818. Hmm, interesting. 818. Let me look up what that engine number means. And um, I'm back on the water fast. Today's uh, starting day one again. And uh, yeah, I'm about to get psychedelic. <laughs> so I'm going to be going to the top of it. And uh, so the top of Bell Rock. And I've been guided to lay down. So I need to, yeah, I definitely have a blanket. So I need to lay down and I should project downward into the earth, which I've never done before. So. Actually, I did have an experience when I did the sacred drum session um, when I first got here. That first, I think it was that first Thursday or that first Friday, something like that. But, uh, but yeah, here we go. I'm, whew, whew, I've definitely been guided to Bell Rock, so Bell Rock, guide me. Twisted this this trunk is I'm like a good part up. Still gotta get up there. That's the goal. I spoke with Odin. I spoke with the sun. I have been chosen for all of this. I also chose all of this to guide, to lead, and to teach. As I look around, I 
see the faces and the bodies of the pharaohs and the Egyptian gods and the Indian gods. I see the Valley of the Kings. That's what this looks like to me. I can see the pharaohs as they speak to me because I am one. I was one. I always will be one. One. We all are one. One. We are one. I can feel my mind's awareness expanding. Expanding, 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 expanding. Filling all of the valleys, all of the animals, the plants, the trees, the beings. I am one of the creator beings. I'm being shown how to create. perfectly timed. I guess he's literally sawing it. <laughs> the tree calls me. Oh, I knew it. It lets me know. Hey, Justin. Hey, everybody. Today, I'm starting the water fast again. So I got to three days last time, like three, three 24 hour days. I might even went a little bit longer. But on that third day, I, it's, I felt like I was literally dying because I went on a crystal hunt which is like a really big hike. Okay, so this would be sick for So I went on a crystal hike and yeah, it just exhausted me, but I'm starting the water, water fast today. Woohoo, got my water. And I got one in my bag and go on this hike to um, Cathedral Canyon. I'm really excited, the Cathedral Vortex, I'm really excited. This is the main one where uh, Shakina Rose, which is the lady that does a lot of uh, different like sound transmissions and voice transmissions and galactic transmissions. She's always there and that's, this is where she, she gets her downloads, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be there all day, just meditating and really connecting with um, with the galactic consciousnesses that I've been told um, wait for us there, um, uh, waiting to communicate with us, and I've been told by my angels they're waiting to communicate with me. We shall see. I'm excited. All right, bye. Got to Cathedral Rock. I got one of the last three spots, so feeling pretty lucky. Actually, no, it's more like it was just straight up meant to be. <laughs> Hold on, Cathedral Rock Trail. Easy breezy trail. Okay, so I'm just gonna straight up just go straight towards Cathedral Rock because I don't know. That, that's, <laughs> these signs are super confusing. <laughs> Do you want the easy trail? The trail trail. It's like, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Here we go. It is. Hey. Hey. On another hike. Each one of these hikes I get awakened even more and more. It's pretty wild. Got on my chuck boots today. Yeah, yeah.
So let me do the picture, you know. I wanted to get a picture of the tree. Look at this timing. Yes, it could be the lens. Just like hiking and stuff, <laughs> and I found what I found. And of course, Ark is all up in it already, loving it. But look, there's tadpoles everywhere. Whoa, he's like, what? <laughs> so wild like all these are gonna be frogs <laughs> and life finds a way this is one of the entryways into inner earth this is where the antigua people are to see this <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> hey I see you he's, a, he's aware that I'm this thing's gonna happen a third time So as I was walking down this area that I was guided to go to, like, I just heard this insane metallic sound. I could tell it's a bug, some kind of insect over there. So this little bee just landed on me. Like I opened the window. <laughs> Kinda don't know what to do. Kinda don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, little bee found me. Telling me to just be. <sighs> so, a little update. I got to Staples, cause I need to get new pens. Cause all my pens ran out, so I've been writing so much. So, need to get new pens. It's called Staples OptiFlow. It's a very specific one, right? So, I looked at all these pens. Let's go through them real quick. Whoa, look at all these freaking pens. It's like pens for days. They don't sell the OptiFlows in the store anymore. What? <laughs> Guess I gotta find a, a new pen. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, so I'm sitting in Merlin's chair. That's what this is. Look at this. It's Merlin's chair. Look, I'll show you. Look at this. Merlin's chair. Hello. So today we're doing a Butte Canyon. Pretty sure it's not Butt Canyon or Booty Canyon. Like that's not how that would work. It's B-U-T-T-E. I think that's Butte. 
beauty. <laughs> Going to Beauty Canyon. <laughs> yeah, so it should be uh, should be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I haven't been to this one, but I guess this one like really helps with regulating, you know, like letting go of energy or like or it's a catalyst. I don't know. It's it's something. All the vortexes are something. So <laughs> I'll update you when I'm closer or when I'm literally there. <laughs> So that one's Bell Rock, like the little one. And then that one is Butte. It does kind of look like two butt cheeks, I gotta say. Just two cheeks, chilling. <laughs> Booty Canyon! Alright, so I'm here at the base of Butte Canyon. Butte Mountain, Butte, Butte Rock, Butte Vortex. We can go Butte Vortex. Hey, look at, hey, it's, it's me. <laughs> AKA the sun. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I kind of feel like I'm releasing already. Where just the thoughts that I'm thinking are like thoughts of the past that I'm just like allowing to release through my feet into the rock. So the whole point of me being here is for me to heal and learn how to heal myself so I can show other people how to heal themselves because we all healers about here. So, yay. Whoa. Ready? Let's go. Oh, so let's see what time is it. So it's 12.33, I got here at uh, like 9.45. Whew, I did not know it was gonna be this long. It was pretty wild too. There it is. I hiked all the way around it. Learned a lot about myself. Learned a lot about this guy. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna start now. Yeah, because I just got super lost for like 30 or 45 minutes. Like, I, I was just like following, I think it was called like the director connector. I don't know. What is between like, between this one and this one? Oh, you can't really see it. Let me go down a little. Young Bell Rock over there. Whew. Alrighty. I definitely want to start drumming. I'm going to start doing that. Drum, drumming and sound bowls is coming. Today we're going to be going to Chapel, Chapel Cross Hill, Chapel Hill, Chapel Hill Vortex. Let's say Chapel Vortex, which is like the vortex that this huge chapel is built on. And it's supposed to be a super holy site. You know, it's like I got my citrine and my celestite. You know, I got a little celestite in my pocket, which uh, it's like the angel stone. Here we go. So it just helps you uh, communicate with your, uh, your ooh. Yeah, it helps you communicate with your... Uh, the angels and guides and keeps them with you because like it's easy for them to resonate with the frequency of that crystal so yeah all right i'll see you on the other side okay this is super throwing me off because like I, I came to like go hiking and to go to a vortex 
And it's raining! What the heck? But the sun's out! I mean, that's Arizona for you, so don't So today I'm going to the final vortex that I haven't been to. Because there's another one called Schnebly Hill, but you need like a literal off-roading vehicle. <laughs> I'm in a Prius, it's like, no. <laughs> Electrical Prius, like, nah. It would get destroyed on that on that dirt rock road. So so that one's gonna be for another time, you know, whenever I'm supposed to go to that, that'll happen. But I'm heading over to the, uh, yeah, the Chapel Hill Vortex. That should be nice. Cause it's like an actual chapel, but it's like non-denominational. So it's for everyone, you know? So it doesn't like I'm gonna go up in there and they'd be like, you better pray to Jesus. It's like, <laughs> it's not like that, it's like, not, not like that, I can just do whatever I want. So I'm gonna go over there, do my meditations, tap in, see if the angels got anything to tell me, see if any other beings without bodies got anything to tell me. And then, um, yeah, yeah, and then it's all going in the book. Hey. And then I'm also going to uh, the shop that I got the drum the other day. I'm gonna go get a case for it, cause it's like, that drum is so nice and sounds so well that I need to protect it for real. Like, for real protected, I gotta for real protected. So I'm gonna go get that, and then I'm also gonna get a Kachina doll and then possibly a rain stick, cause I also want that, you know, for, you know, the rain protection also. Yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, look at that thing. All right, so let's walk through Sedona. Haha, -ha. I think this is uh, gonna be one of my last days. Been there almost a month. Like in three days will be a month, two days, whatever. Like my fit. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so I just woke up to the sound of my, uh, like the lady that owns the Airbnb. You know, cause like I got my place and then she got her place like right over there. Just the blender, 6.30, it's like, but then again, that was the universe saying just and get up. And also I had like, uh, it was like a, a, a 10 episode nightmare. Like, what is that? But I guess it's cause I'm really deciding on what I'm gonna be doing next. I don't really know but I'm deciding, so I gotta decide by tomorrow. It's like, am I staying in Sedona or am I going to California? What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I will by the end of today, I'm gonna be making these decisions. So just wanna update y'all on everything. I know I haven't been making videos at all because like I needed to live my life <laughs> without sharing every second. Like it's kind of hard to to come out with this this content that you all know and love and also live the experience. You know, it's like I either get to, you know, like live in the experience while filming it and then give it to y'all or do it for me, you know? And right now it's like doing it for me. <laughs> Just woke up. It's my last day out here. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Good old Cottonwood. Good old Sedona. <clears throat> but now it's time. Where am I going next? Uh, you just gonna have to see. Alrighty, y'all. I'm leaving Arizona. I'm leaving Arizona. Where am I going? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Y'all don't know. <laughs> it's so fun playing this mystery game with everybody. <laughs> it's like, where's Waldo? But where's Justin? <laughs> where's Justin? <laughs> yeah, so it's time. 
you know, I got all these ideas. I have some business partners now. It's like, I'm a Odin Reiki Beyond Master, so. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, so um, I know I'm not really saying much, but um, I'm also saying a lot. <laughs> Would you look at that? Aww. Is that where I'm going? Maybe. Alrighty, so I just made it to my new place, like where I'm, where I'm gonna be staying at. I don't even know for how long, just, you know, got all my stuff in the car. I don't know, can you see Cyrus? He's in there somewhere. There he is. Okay. Can I kind of see him. But uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, I guess they all went to go eat or something, so I'm gonna I'm go and eat too. I'm gonna go and eat too. What do I want? I don't know. But I haven't eaten all day. I've just been drinking liquids only. Because ever since I did the water diet, like, I understand all I need is water. Like, yeah, I need nutrients, but I mean, I can get that in the liquid. Like, I don't need this super solid stuff. So, yeah, so, I'm, I'm her in San Diego! Hey!